how to fix Fortnite lag and stutters and spikes after the recent update. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to open your this PC, right click and go to properties. From here, click on advanced system settings. The small window will come up and you have to go to the advanced section over here. Then you will find performance, user profile, startup and recovery. You have to click on the performance settings over here. Now by default, probably it will be let Windows choose what's best for your computer. But what you have to do is either you can choose edges for best performance which will be unticking all of these things because these are the things which are running in the background which affect your performance so if you decrease them you're gonna get a boost in performance but or the way how your windows looks when it comes to the icons and all kinds of animation that will be completely off so what i suggest to you here is that only one option you can take which is the show thumbnails instead of icons which will be going on the custom format so you can just simply click on this show thumbnails instead of icons and so simply click on apply click ok restart your pc once so that can be the very first step to make sure you choose show thumbnails instead of icons but if in case it doesn't really matter of how animation how your windows looks you just care about the performance so you can just choose adjust for best performance everything will be unticked simply click apply click ok next step what you have to do is go to the search bar and type in run over here the command which you have to type is ms config which is this one and click ok over here the small little window will come up go to boot and go to advanced options now make sure that the number of processors which is over here this particular thing should be ticked it will be ticked by default but the most important thing is the number of processors which you have or threads which you have in your cpu this number which i am having which is number 10 it can be lower or higher depending on whatever cpu you have only thing you have to keep in mind that you choose the maximum number over here like probably it might happen that it can be of like four or five or something or all the number of processors which are there in your computer is not giving its full potential in order to run the game and that's why you're having these kind of lags and stutters so make sure you choose the maximum number over here and then simply click ok and just simply click ok over here third step what you have to do is make sure you open your epic games launcher and then click on your account and go to settings scroll down over here you're gonna find all the installed games which will be coming under the manage games you're gonna see fortnite in a small little triangle over here click on this and make sure you choose additional command line arguments and make sure you put this particular command which is limit client text slash no splash slash use all available cores slash LAN play. The most important one is the use all available cores which you have in your computer. It's the same thing of the previous step but here we are pushing the game in order to run it using its all available cores and it should not ignore any of the core which you have in your computer and in that sense we are putting full potential of your computer in to run the game so that there is no ignorance of any cores which has been left or which has been not utilized in order to run the game so that you get the maximum output. In our case we want the game to run its full potential and should not give us any lags or stutters so make sure you put this whole command which is over here in the additional command line arguments once it is done simply go back close epic games launcher restart it once and then restart a pc once next step what you have to do is in the search bar simply go ahead and type run again this time the command which you have to type is percentage app data percentage which is this one click ok and go to app data in the app data you have to open local and have to scroll down over here now this step depends on the graphic card which you're currently having i run my pc on an nvidia graphic card so i'm just going to go ahead and click on nvidia double click and open it and you're going to find a folder called as dx cache double click and open it so these are all the cache files over here make sure you select everyone and just permanently delete them if any file is not getting deleted you can simply just ignore that particular file now this particular step is also for the amd users if you have an amd graphic card you can just come back to the local and you're going to find your amd folder somewhere on the top because it goes in the alphabetical manner so you're going to just find the amd folder and inside that same folder just like the nvidia folder you're going to find the dx cache folder if you double click and open it you're going to also find a lot of files inside it you just have to select everyone and just simply delete it now the step is not yet complete once you have deleted whether you're an amd or or an nvidia in that particular folder you have to come back to the app data folder and go to the local low folder and you're going to find an nvidia folder over here as well same goes for amd double click and open it dx cache if this folder is empty that's perfectly fine if it is not whatever is present over here simply just delete it once you have deleted those files open your game run one or two matches the first match will be slightly laggy it is just because the game is reloading its shader files so once the shader file has been loaded after you play one or two matches you're going to see that the game is buttery smooth and from there you can just play on with the game if not you can just come back onto all these folders see if there is any cache files which have been newly formed select everyone delete it and then try the game once if it doesn't help you can move to the next step next step what you have to do is in the search bar you have to type in edit power plan over here 
you have to click on change advanced power settings small window will pop up here you can choose that we i have the ultimate performance the high performance or the power saver by default for most of the players it will be on balance what you have to do is you have to scroll down over here you're going to find the processor power management simply click on this plus icon over here and you're going to find the minimum processor state and the maximum processor state click on this plus over here again so you can see the setting over here is on five percent for the minimum processing state but the important one is the maximum processing state you just have to simply click on this by default if you have never opened this particular file this will be on 100 make sure you choose a little bit lesser than what you have i have put on 95 because i don't want my cpu to go to that maximum level and it should stop at 95 so that my system is cool and it can give that performance and also not push my system to the very highest so that it can damage my processor so make sure that the maximum processor state is put on 95 or any value you can put on even 98 or 97 is also good whatever cpu you have if you have a very high end cpu then i would suggest you to put on 95 if you have a mid range cpu then 99 or 98 would be also perfect so make sure that you choose here a value which is a little bit less than 100 quick note here that don't choose a value less than 95 then you might face issue with performance even more of what you're currently getting probably with other games as well so make sure that whatever value you choose you can try one or two values 99 98 97 whichever is fit for you once you have put the value simply click ok restart your pc next step what you have to do is open epic games launcher one more time and this time we're going to click on library so as you can see i have only three games installed so you're going to find fortnite just going to click on this three little dots over here and choose options now this is very very important whenever you're installing the game probably as a new user or let's say you're updating the game it might happen that the high resolution textures and pre-download stream assets is ticked make sure that these two things are unticked it is very very important not only you're saving probably like more than 30 gbs but also it will help you in your performance what if your pc is not capable of running the game in high resolution textures but still you have downloaded this and it's running on constantly in the background and that is why you're having these kind of issues so make sure that high resolution textures and pre-download stream assets these two options are untick once you have untick them click on apply restart your epic games launcher once and then you can try your game see if that helps next step what you have to do is now this may not look very important for you but the reason of a game being lagging let's say you're playing the game for quite a lot of hours and you slowly and slowly started to see that the game is slightly lagging or stuttering well the reason is that this might be because of overheating if a pc is not able to cool itself then it can damage your hardware so that might be the reason why you're having lags and stutters what actually happens is how your processor works is if you have a processor and its temperature is let's say 100 degrees celsius at a maximum for example so whatever the temperature reaches a little bit higher than 100 degrees what actually the pc or the cpu does is it lowers its potential so that it doesn't damage itself and because of its lowering its potential it is not able to run your game at full potential and that's why you're facing the lag so even if you have a very high-end pc or high-end cpu in which has been installed in your pc make sure that it doesn't get hot make sure you look at your computer or your pc's fans vents they are cleaned any dust blockage that could prevent any airflow you can use some compressed air to clean inside your pc what i recommend probably is that you can take your pc to someone who is capable enough in doing so probably that person might be able to help you in order to change the thermal paste which is also important for your pc maybe like you are not aware about that particular thing as well so you take it to somebody who's capable enough give it a nice little cleanup rather than your opening things and mess it up even more so it's better you take it to someone capable ask him to clean it give it a nice little clean and also change the thermal paste i'm pretty sure you're going to see a difference in your performance next step what you have to do is let's say you have an nvidia graphic card you might be able to do the same thing for amd as well because the settings will be seen so what you have to do you just have to right click on this particular corner over here and open nvidia control panel so here what we're going to do is we're going to just change a couple of settings first and foremost make sure that whenever you open nvidia control panel the first thing you're going to see is what is the refresh rate of your pc or your monitor that is very very important make sure that you check out your refresh rate so my monitor is a 165 hertz monitor and i play on 1080p so make sure you check that probably note it down somewhere if, if in case you forget so make sure note down the refresh rate because that's gonna come in handy in a little bit time once you open nvidia control panel couple of things which we have to change over here is so we're going to go to this manage 3d settings over here but this you can do in global settings so you can just go to program settings and just choose that particular game which is fortnite i generally do it in global settings because i usually play all the games and i don't want any issues on one particular game and then add the other particular game 
So it's better to do it in global settings. So what basically you have to do is over here is, first and foremost, CUDA CPU, this particular setting which is over here, make sure you choose all over here. So make sure the all option has been selected over here. Probably by default it will be all as well, so you can keep this setting as it is. After that, we're gonna scroll down, make sure that you have low latency mode, which is over here. Make sure this particular setting is on ultra. Very, very important. So make sure that low latency mode is on ultra. After that, we're gonna scroll down again. Power management mode, extremely important. Make sure that your graphic card is given the preference to run the game at its full potential. So make sure you choose here and choose prefer maximum performance. After that, we're gonna come to these four settings which are all started with textures. So make sure the very first one, texture filtering, anistrophic sample optimization, this particular setting is on. Texture filtering negative, LOD bias, this one is allow and texture filtering quality is chosen to high performance. All these settings I'm pretty sure you're going to find even if you have an AMD graphic card as well. So make sure you open your AMD graphic card control panel and probably you're going to find all these same settings and you just have to copy these settings depending on whatever graphic card you have. So once you have done all these, just simply click on apply. Additionally, over here you can just choose the vertical sync or the V-sync and simply make this particular setting off. Make sure that vertical sync is off. Once you have done, simply click on apply, restart a PC once and then try your game. See if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is in the search bar, you have to type in game mode settings. So make sure the game mode is on. But additionally, what you have to do over here is you can see this thing which is called as graphic settings on the top right hand corner. Click on this and make sure that reduce latency and improve performance. So make sure this particular setting is on. You have to restart a PC in order to do so. So make sure first you on this particular setting and after that graphics performance preference click on this browse setting over here click on this browse option over here you have to find your fortnite directory from here since my fortnite directory is already open you have to go to fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and you're going to find the application which is the highest amount of size which is this one now i'm not going to add it because it has been already added as you can see over here once it has been added you just have to click on options and make sure you choose high performance and click on c once it has been done restart a pc once in order to apply these changes and then you start your game see if that helps next step what you have to do is in the search bar you have to type in run again and this time same command which is percentage app data percentage click ok go to app data go to local and you have to find fortnite game once you find the folder go to save config windows client you're gonna find in these three files which is over here right click on the game user settings and go to properties make sure that read only is not tick click apply click ok so that whatever changes we make in the file it gets effect in the game and it's just not read only double click and open this now here are a couple of things which we have to change firstly i'm just going to scroll down i'm going to find the first setting which is b show grass which is over here now probably by default if you have never opened this file this particular setting will be true make sure you choose over here as false b show grass must be false that is the first thing after that we're going to scroll down now you're going to find the settings you're going to find which is something is called a scalability groups so if you have never opened this file by default the very first one which is the resolution quality this will be on 100 you have to choose a slightly lower value than 100 i have chosen here 98.9 which is just a random value anything less than 100 will be fine but you don't have to put it like probably on 75 or 65 then the game will not look nice you might get a good performance but your game will not look nice so make sure you put a little bit less than 100 it will not be visually different when it comes to the game between 100 and 98 but you're going to see a lot of difference in the performance so make sure you choose a little bit less than value of 100 once you have chosen that simply go to file and click on save once it has been saved right click on the file again and make sure that you make it as read only as it was before click apply click ok in the game what do you have to do is go to go to the settings over here now, if you remember a little bit time ago i told you about to remember your refresh rate of your monitor now that thing will be very important first thing if you see the frame rate limit it is on 60 fps i'm not sure like why it is on 60 fps because every time i have to change it i don't know probably it's a bug or something it every time come back to 60 fps whatever your refresh rate is you have to choose that so my is a 165 hertz monitor so i will choose 165 fps and click apply now you might ask a question that my monitor is 75 hertz and that option is not available if you have a 75 hertz monitor i would suggest you to put at 60 fps because you don't have any choice but if you have a little bit higher than that 120 fps is perfectly fine but that also depends on how much your pc can handle so make sure you choose whatever refresh rate your monitor is that amount of fps v-sync should be off resolution 
I play on 100p. My PC can fetch up to 4k, but I don't need it. I just want to get the best FPS from the game. So it's 100p. Without mode, full screen. Rendering mode is very, very important. I play on performance mode and I would suggest you do so as well. It's kind of like an old graphic API because as you can see, it's used the DirectX 11, but it enhanced the performance. Whereas DirectX 12 is a new graphics API, but obviously DirectX 12 will need a lot more from your PC in order to show that kind of visuals. So I would suggest you to go with performance mode. Textures and mashes are low. View distance is near but I would suggest you to put it on medium because we have to see the enemy a little bit from a distance. So view distance you can put on medium. Then if you have an NVIDIA graphic card I would suggest you to enable the NVIDIA reflex low latency which is over here is on. So NVIDIA reflex low latency should be on. Once you have selected these settings just simply click on apply. You can just copy my settings as well. So that was a video quite plain and simple. Hope it helps. If you're still having issues, you can put down in the comment section. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like button. Consider subscribing and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.